how we're live. Um, this video is gonna be about building cars and how you build them legally and don't get chased down by the cops. Yeah, we're gonna go through basically race setup and a, and a quick sample turn. So, um, here we are. You'll notice we talked a lot about these cards and we've shown them throughout the how-to videos. And one of the things you'll notice about them is they all have little numbers in these little corners here. Zero, minus one, plus one. There's a couple plus twos. I just don't have any out on the table right now. And what you do is this is a point system for building your car. So, for instance, for start speed, which I haven't talked about exactly what it does yet, but I will in a sec, you have some choices. Minus two choice, a plus two choice, a zero choice, and they're all... Um, they're all different costs and they're different values and so I have to pick what I want, what I want my car to be able to do. And all of the points should add up to two. So I have uh, one, two, three points up here but minus one there So and these are zero so I have a two point car and that's a, that's a normal car build. And so the first thing we would do What is, happens if you have a one point car? Uh, well, you could do that if you wanted to handicap yourself. If you were really experienced and you're racing against the people who didn't know as much, you can handicap yourself and you could do that. So I could race a one point car, and maybe like, somebody who was a rookie could like, race a two point car. When, like, a year ago, for me, and I would race against you, you would put yourself on one, one point sure. car. Okay. What happens if you're on a three-point car? Uh, I don't. I mean, you could change these point values to base your the way you want to race, but I think a two-point car is is the good place to be because it makes you make choices. If three-point car, it would just be too easy to just have the car that was good at everything. With a two-point car, you got to make choices. So after we all set up our cars, we would do it kind of in secret, and then we'd reveal it, and then we'd get our chips. So you know, we talked about driver skill here. I'm going to give myself driver skill for one race. So. For a one lap race because all these stuff is by one so I got some of those and some of these and then here we have um, enough for a uh, we I'm gonna get seven wear so there's seven wear and so I've got my chips now the next thing we would do is we would bid for pole so the way you bid for pole is you take your chips and I can bid all of these if I want for the right to be at the front I'm not gonna bid all of them because that's going to be silly, but I would take some amount of them and I would put them in my hand and we'd all hold our hands out like this so that, and then when we're all ready, we would draw the chips. And so here I've got uh, one wear and two minus one skills. Now, when you add these together, skill counts for half of a point. So here I've actually got a bid of two. And we'd find out what everyone else had been. This is gone. I've used that. I expended that trying to get a particular position on the grid. And we'd see where I'd end up, and we'd start putting cars on the grid based on how many people there are and um, what my bid was. And let's say we were running a two-car race, and my bid was lower, so I would end up in the back. Um, and with a lot more cars, you fill in all of these spots. And then you get ready to race. So let's talk real quick about our first turn, because it's going to give us an opportunity to show how the, the play works. Wait, we're playing? And we're going to talk about start Am speed. I no. Okay. We're going to talk about start speed. Start speed has one main purpose, and that is this is the speed you will probably go on your first turn. Now, just like acceleration, deceleration, top speed, you can test it, so I could try and go 120, and you can go slower than it. There are some times when you do. This is not a track when you want to do that, though. So, the first thing we would do is I would put my first turn speed face down. When everyone has got their, their speeds face down, you flip them, and then you move the cars in order. So the first car would move first, and then all the way back until the last car moves. And then next turn, I would pick a new speed, let's say it's going to be that one, and I would put it there, and when everyone has their new speed down, you flip it, everyone moves their cars, and, 40. and then I pick up the old speed and leave the new speed down. You all the, This is always public information, the speed you are currently going, so that other people know how fast you're going. And then um, that's how the game goes, until uh, somebody wins. Somebody wins when they're in this position, so this is across, nose across yeah. the line, finished. Yeah. Assuming you've finished the complete number of laps. Wait, if your nose is, so if you're, if you're right here. That's finished. That's finished. Now, um, if we both cross the line. I thought your car had to be across nope. the line. If we both cross the line at the same time, then it's whoever's traveled the farthest across the line. So if the red car crossed the line in first and went there, but I crossed the line second but went all the way there, I would win. If we were in the same spot, then it's whoever's on the inside of the track which in this case would be red, and that usually just means it comes down to whoever uh, crossed the line first. That's the game, and 
uh, in our next video is going to be a longer video. We're actually going to do uh, a quick one lap race around uh, Mexico City here, uh, Michael and I. So, uh, till you then, said my talk name. to you later. I thought that was supposed to be secret information, Dad. And plus, guys, would you like to see once we do that video? Would you like to see us? Do that with different maps. We could show off the different maps, stuff like that. Dad, stop showing faces at me. And, yeah. So, we'll see you later. We've just about run out of time. And goodbye.